Oh, we got gold. <laughs> yeah, all right. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mountaineer Matt and today we are metal detecting for gold at a hydraulic pit that I have actually found plenty of gold at in the past. If you've watched my previous videos, you can see some of the gold that I found here. I have a really good feeling about today, so let's get at it. All right, we've got our first target for the day was in this little hole right here, scraped it back with the pick. And I think the signal's kind of somewhere right here where I marked the soil. So let's dig it up and see what our target is. All right, sounds like we might have it in the scoop. Back in the scoop. Whatever this is, it's very faint. Might not even be our actual target. All right, we'll just break it up. Wow, I can't see it. What is it? What do we have here? Where is this mystery item? And that is a hot rock. So it's just this little rock right here in the middle. And that's what the hot rocks look like around here. They're this uh, dark brown, kind of hard little rock. But look how tiny that thing is. But that's all right. We'll find some gold today. And I think we might have another target in here. So I'm going to check this one more time. Okay, so we do have another target right here. And this one's reading pretty hard on the gold side. So let's see what we have here. Much stronger signal. This might be our actual target. Still in my hand. Let's see what we got here. What do we think it's going to be? Oh, I think I see it. Yep. It's this little lead BB right here. Okay, let's keep going. All right, we got a target right here on the top. It's right in this area right here. Sounds pretty good. Let's check it out. All right, we got it in the scoop. Let's see what we have. And we've got another lead BB. Finding lead BBs like this is actually a good thing because when you're finding targets like this, it's a pretty good indicator that nobody has come in here and detected this area, or at least they haven't detected it with a more modern machine because lead like this rings up just like gold. You know, anybody who came out here and who knew what they were doing would be digging up targets like this. Again, just the fact that these targets are even here is a really good indicator that nobody's detected this spot before, or at least in a long time, which is good because it means that we might have some gold here that was never dug up or was missed. Let's keep going. Okay, so we have a signal in this spot here, and the signal's reading basically all the way to the right. It's really loud and it sounds really good. So let's dig it up and see what we have. All right, first scoop. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, I see it. It's in this little clump of dirt. <laughs> Let me get this in focus. There it is. You see that right there? All right, let's get it out of there. Let's clean it up. Wow, the signal on this was really loud. Awesome. There it is. All right, look at that. 
drop it in the uh, scoop. There we go. All right, first piece of gold for the day. Let's keep going. Okay, so we got another target right here, and this one sounds a lot like that last piece of gold that we found, so I want to show you what it looks like on the screen of the gold monster here. So if you look, it's going all the way to the right, and it's got that really zippy sound to it. That last piece of gold we found sounded just like this one, but a lot of bullets sound just like this one too, so let's dig it up and see what we got. Okay, got it in the scoop. All right. Okay, I'm not seeing a bullet yet. Not that. We got gold. Yep. Yeah. All right. There it is. Nice. All right. There's our little piece of gold. Not bad. So far, we're doing pretty good. So I was here not even a week ago, metal detecting around this pile of rock right here. And I didn't find any gold right here, but I just realized that this big old tree right here actually has fallen since I was last here. And that's a pretty tall tree. I would guess that the tree was probably maybe 100, 120 feet tall. I'm not surprised it fell over with how dry the ground is right here. Looks like it was pretty rotted out. But that's definitely one of the things you gotta be careful about when you're working out here in the middle of the woods. Every once in a while, you'll hear a tree fall down in the distance. With the drought we've been having here in California, the ground just gets really dry and uh, the roots have nothing to anchor to. And a strong breeze can blow them right on over. Glad I wasn't here when it happened. All right, so I pretty much worked that pit really hard over several times I've been here. I, I went a little bit longer and I just really wasn't having much more luck. So what I've decided to do is come down to this area here. This is a, a little bit of a creek and I'm pretty sure that this is where the water was being drained from the hydro pit. And uh, I just got a piece of gold down here. So let me show you. So there it is right there in our scoop. I'm really surprised that I actually found gold right here. This is uh, really promising. So we'll keep going and uh, we're not stopping until we absolutely have to leave. This is just amazing, really good day. We got a piece of gold I'll show you in a second. I was just digging out this little spot right here under the coil and we got a nice chunky one. Look at that. <laughs> that might be one of the bigger ones I've gotten out of here. Look at that guy, oh man. I'm gonna guess that this is three quarters of a gram. We'll, uh, we'll definitely weigh this when we get back to the house. Look at that, woohoo. That just made my day. All right, well, let's head back to Mountaineer headquarters, clean up this gold and see how we did. All right, I've gone ahead and rinsed these off a little bit. Let's go ahead and weigh them up. So we'll start with our smallest piece here which is 0 0.065 grams. Definitely not the smallest piece I've ever found with the gold monster, considering how sensitive this machine is. All right, here's our second largest piece, coming in at 0 0.110 grams, so just slightly over one-tenth of a gram. Coming in with our runner-up. This was, I believe, the first piece that we found. Nice little piece, has some character to it, with a weight of 0 0.205 grams. And lastly, we have our largest piece, really cool piece. This one definitely has some thickness to it, about the size of a pea, a lot of character to it as well. And I believe I guessed a weight of 0.75 grams when I found it. So let's see what it reads. 0.79 grams. All right. 
a little bit more than I guessed. Can't complain about that. And our total weight with all of the pieces we found from our trip, 1.165 grams. I am more than happy to be adding this gold to my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you on the next adventure.